Hi, this is Todd again, and today is Thursday, June 16, 2011. Uh, we are using the open bucket or open terrarium method. So the first thing you want to do when you want to move a cat caterpillar is make sure the caterpillar is not set to molt. I'm going to go ahead and insert some slides here to show you the differences between caterpillars that are set to molt, which can be moved, and caterpillars which are set to molt, which should not be moved. Now, just as a, a thought, if you do move a caterpillar that is set to molt, what you need to do is place that caterpillar on a small, say, two inch by two inch piece of paper towel, place in a container, and the uh, that paper towel will create a friction where it will be easier for the caterpillar to molt. And then once it molts, you can place it on the host plant. What I have here is what we call a bouquet of the host. Now, as I say, the host in this case for me is stinging nettle because that's the only host that I've been able to get access to in northern Utah feed the caterpillars. Many of you will not be using stinging metal, and hence you'll not need to use rubber gloves to handle the host. But, what we're going to do here is grab the caterpillar with forceps and we'll place it on the host plant. Okay, I gently uh, grab the caterpillar, it's out of focus, and I'm going to place it on this particular leaf. As you can see, I placed it on one of the uh, uppermost leaves of the plant. The reason why I do that is whenever you take cuttings of stinging nettle or other plants, some of the leaves that are towards the bottom of the plant are some of the first leaves to lose nutritional value and turn yellow. Again, we're simply talking about raising red admirals on host plant cuttings. This would not be applicable if you're uh, using a potted plant. The last step, of course, is I want to take the uh, bouquet of stinging nettle and place it in a bucket. and then place some nylon netting around that bucket. And lastly, for the six gallon bucket, I place a lid that has a large circular hole cut out of it to allow the uh, frass uh, to die. Now, this is just some techniques on open bucket technique. Thanks.